Hey guys, what's up? This is Gollum, and welcome to Amnesia the Bunker on the PC. This is... <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it. So this is... Obviously another entry into the Amnesia series, which for people who don't know is just this kind of long-lasting horror series uh, that's been around for like the last 10 plus years. I didn't play the last one, I still intend to at some point, but this one seems to be trying to take a different approach in that it is kind of a randomized non-linear experience rather than like a linear overall horror uh experience so we'll see what ends up happening we're gonna keep things on the normal difficulty a horror experience where dying is part of the thrill it's vital to adapt use caution and strategize to survive and then we'll keep everything else on. I've seen a couple of videos on the game from the devs. As well as, you know, the trailers for the game. But beyond that, I don't know what. I don't know anything else. I don't know how this is going to play out. Thankfully, you know, we have been given the warning that, yeah, we're going to die. We're, we, 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 I have to expect it. To survive this war, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good goddamn sense to do whatever is necessary. I can teach you the first. The second is up to you. Remain Delphi. General de Brigade, 4th Army of the 3rd Republic. Oh, God! The real horror is war and other humans. Oh. It leads you to the rendezvous. Oh, uh, okay, what, what about you? Why don't you get in the trench so you can also go to the rendezvous? Press R to bring out or put away the gun? Oh, yeah, all right. Do I have to, like, maybe fight some humans in here? Is that why they're giving me all these... ...props? Who are the enemies? Oh, do I have none? Oh, gosh. Uh, 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 <laughs> put away the gun. Open doors and containers first interact with them, then move the mouse. Well, what the fuck do you mean by first interact? <laughs> right there, I just like click. Hold R to check how many bullets you've got. <gasps> Let's see. Oh shit, I was. Okay, press mouse while holding R to load a bullet. Oh god. I gotta load one bullet at a time in a manual way. What the hell? These boxes only had one... One bullet a pop? Sheesh! Who packed these? Okay, alright. I have to remember, this is... Uh, this is an amnesia game. Which means... A lot of... Physics shenanigans. Uh, I guess I can do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Physics shenanigans. I don't think they're gonna have us shoot a single human soul in this. Sure. Sure. I'm actually surprised that we even had some models there. Oh, God! Oh, my... Jeez! Ugh. Well, I'm out of bullets now! Oh, oh, thanks! Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, my God! You've got a face? Wow! Hold tab to see how bad your injuries are. <laughs> yep! That's definitely my blood! <laughs> Ooh! This... this has a healing thing on it. How about the health is over here? Grenades? That doesn't heal me! 
Oh, jeez. Oh, this is also locked, huh? Alright. I'll use this helmet to break it. Or I guess I could use the grenade. Uh, how do I... <laughs> how do I pull out my grenades? Alright. Press tab, build the inventory. Uh, I can also assign a hot piece. Okay. Grenade. After arming, will explode in a matter of seconds. That makes sense. Hold right click to ready an item and then press left click to use it. Sure. Don't worry, just blowing out my eardrums. Yeah, sure, I could, I could use some bullets. One bullet. Oh, for this one explosive barrel. They're making sure I know how to wage war. Oh shit, did they just toss a grenade? Oh shit, they tossed... They're tossing so many! Oh my god! Oh wait, is this like a every- oh shit. Oh god. The entire trench filled up with gas. Get this on fast, fast! We're dying on the ocean. We make it out of this hell together. Okay! Don't follow me. We're nearly there. My friend who's supposedly named Lambert. Thanks for the gas mask. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. Ooh, backstory? There you have it, huh? Uh, oh, my character talks. Fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. I'm getting some, some memories. This is the most human interaction we've ever had in the Amnesia series. <laughs> That's it. genuinely surprising that they didn't just throw us straight into the bunker and go, ah, the only company you have is your gun and the monsters. Oh, jeez. Um. Lambert? Is that you? He's just sleeping, right? And we really couldn't be bothered to have like an animated cutscene at this point, huh? <laughs> Just hold on to me. It's interesting that the first opening minutes don't have our character talk. Which is what I expected, but now it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> we actually give a shit about my friend! Ooh. I'll never leave you ah, behind, friend! Unless you're dead. In which case, like, that's a different story. You are now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. Yeah? I Last I saw, I was laying in the field. What the fuck's happened? I 
I get captured by the German soldiers? Maybe my own forces? I mean, they patched me up. So that was nice. You were an old T or middle mouse to work. Uh, rotate optics. Yeah, I'll use T. That's <laughs> feels way more natural for me with that. Progress saved. All notes that you pick up can be found under the notes tab of your inventory. You can go directly to the picked up note by pressing tab while the icon is flashing. All right, amnesia cause. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9 July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to the severity of initial head trauma. We'll continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Josinski. Okay. So, I was found by my own forces the french forces they patched me up but like i lost uh lost my memories recent recent events probably what just happened maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's their explanation as to why uh, for some of the last parts, the in-between parts of the cutscene. It was just a blur. Press F to bring out or put away the flashlight. Flashlight. Hold F to charge the flashlight, but be careful not to make too much noise. I don't know if I have an option with that. Let me read this. 9th of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I've done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. Uh. What is uh, what does my character mean by it? this one is from the 10th of July and it says 17 hours did I Ninth say that of July 1700 hours okay I'm just <laughs> I was wondering what it means I was like does that mean 17 hours ago no he's just we're just saying like, the general time. All right, got my loud as fuck flashlight that's gonna get me killed probably over and over again because I like being able to see. What the hell is this? Yeesh. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. What the fuck happened here? God, we're really not gonna like just ramp up to this, huh? It's just gonna be immediate fucking horrors beyond comprehension. Ugh. 14th of July, 1916. Body of Sergeant Reynard. Multiple lacerations. Chest cavity torn to shreds. Every rib cracked. Uh, skull cracked. Open by repeated blood force trauma. Who could have done this to him? What, what is the day? I'm just trying to get like an idea of the timeline. Also, as a note, I'm glad that at least the notes that uh, I have of myself on re actually like, says them. That's kind of nice. Anyways. Ugh. No, this can stay here. Where's the door, maybe? Oh, damn, this runs out so fast. Uh, 
Locked gate. Oh boy. Fourteen Juliet, nineteen sixteen, Journey de Paris. Oh prophet. <laughs> I'm so sorry, thank you. <laughs> oh prophet des uh, Cuerves. De Guerre de Le Hotel de Ville. <laughs> Hello? Dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and I need to try to get to somewhere in the excavation site. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. Yeah? Is that There's what you. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have come over here. I still wanted to, like, explore a little bit. Oh, I gotta, like, unlatch this. Alright! One bullet for you! <laughs> well, at least I got to save a bullet. Oh, shit. I should go. Fuck. I think I'm gonna have to shoot the lock and then run. <laughs> we gotta go! Listed. <laughs> Is that uh because we made it to the bunker? Found the administrator's office. I see. Is this my save room? You can save your progress by lighting this lamp. Oh sweet. What if I just keep doing that? We can keep lighting it up. Swell. This is the main map of the bunker. It will be updated with objectives and details as you progress. Huh. That's good. Uh, so we're... We're in administration. We just came from this area to the right. The sick room. 
to pantry, officer mess hall area. Oh! <laughs> That's nice. Like, obviously not necessary for me in particular, but I guess it's a little bit easier to read. And if you're playing this in a different language, this lets you just kind of like have that get translated while still maintaining the original, the original text, the original look. Oh boy. All right. Well, I guess we are officially in the main portion of the game now. You just picked up an item that can be used for crafting, pick up the other cloth piece, and press tab to access your inventory page, and combine the two cloth items to craft a bandage. Where was the other cloth? That's not it. Oh, this is locked. What's this? Note from head clerk, uh, read dog tags. Important, when processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Oh yeah? Where did that dog tag? Or, oh, it's just right here. Uh, well. This one doesn't have anything on it. Does that just get put in my inventory? Can I just drop this shit on the ground? Break the game? I guess if the uh, dog hack has like a note or something, we can use that. Like it'll get actually properly stored. Rats and burnt corpses. Updates all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to Father de Reyes about this matter. He will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain. But burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must. Huh. All right, uh, we, do I have like an actual personal journal? I mean like, you know, besides these, doesn't seem like it. That is rough, cause I, oh Jesus. Definitely don't remember the precise places he wants me to go. The guy that, the soldier that we just talked to, in the kitchen area. Uh, what I remember is that we need to basically create an explosive uh, device. I know he said in the excavation site there was a trigger for it, and then I don't remember the other one. That's okay. We'll, we'll end up exploring all of this place probably. Generator. You can power the generator by filling it with fuel and pulling the lever. Keep it on at all times. The fucker hates light. I think it can get in this area. Pocket watch. Does that take up an inventory slot? Okay, it does. Shit. Pocket watch with stopwatch functionality can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Okay, I guess. Oh, I can only... Okay, fuel can't stack. That's fine. I guess I'll fuel this up. Oh 
this is gonna be improving. I, I have a habit of like stopping and like looking around in areas. Or like stopping and like thinking about what's going on. This generator is gonna completely fuck with that. Because obviously I bet I, I'm gonna have a time limit. As to what to do. Any code you find is written down in the codes tab in your inventory. Alright. And this is like a... Is this 7882 or is this... 7382 and they like had to erase part of it because they were like whoopsie let's see what what gets written down in the notes seven <laughs> look at <it>, see <laughs> seven three eight two Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, don't even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in the sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. That's smart, that's smart. I did see that, uh... What is... I want to put this on the ground. Wait, what happens if I do? <laughs> I was gonna try and combine it, but fuck it. In the trailers, they did show that you could like use the gasoline, like just put it on the floor and light fires in places. So I'm wondering, like, how often I should go about doing that. So for this first room, I'm just putting Andy all the fuel here. Uh, okay. Time to watch. All right. So, uh, I'm guessing that's maybe legitimate, and I legitimately have like 45 minutes of generator time. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. Oh, and is that how I can be like, no, I don't want the pocket watch. I still gotta learn how to craft. All right. Um, there was a lever out here. Okay, so you pull it down to turn on the lights. I can probably make this into a shortcut. Although I'm a little scared about this here. <laughs> Should I be keeping some of these doors locked so I don't get fucking mauled by the the monster? Hold up, what was the other one? Okay, two. I'm so concerned. That doesn't help. You can overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Use your wits and brains. Experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. Okay. I'll tr do my best. I can't promise anything though how to get the hell out of here have uh, not seen another human for hours now I might be the last but in the hope that there might be another I leave this now so you do not waste any time this is the only exit the only way out of this hell of our own making it was blown closed it needs to be blown open don't bother digging impossible blow it up the dynamite is locked in the arsenal the detonator handle is somewhere deep or, d or down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. I do pray for you, friend. 
I'm wondering if that was maybe my buddy that we just saw. You've just found a new objective. Objectives will be marked on your maps, and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes list. Oh, that's fun. I can, I can see the light from outside. Should I turn these off to like preserve power? Maybe I don't have to care about that. All right. Until the game is like, turn off the lights to preserve the generator's power, I'm gonna keep turning on every fucking switch I can find. At least in this first area. You know, close to our primary save point. I'm fucking dead, aren't I? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Sergeant Stefani's uh, Jobert. Joe Burr's, Joe Bear's final journal. To any who find this, Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. Uh, he's lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee, flee. We must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run, to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here. The demon and our men. His constant refrain is getting to me. And that same void of terror is also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free of this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it, and I will radio it back to you. Trapped down here with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. That's all I can do. All I have courage to do. Go to the communications room in the soldier quarters. I'll hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. Alright. fucking trap? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's bad. Well... just have to remember the beast doesn't like areas that are lit up. Fuck, I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, uh, we're back here? Oh shit, okay, that's not what I was expecting. Well, at least I can take a chance take a second to look at a uh, slightly updated map so <laughs> nothing nothing crazy here just a circle uh, oh well actually two big circles we gotta go to the soldiers quarters and then we gotta go to the arsenal Woo. All right, so that means I gotta head out and then hook a right there's also this other area the strategic officer area that we have, like, immediate access to that I can look around. What I want to do, though, is 
open this shortcut right here. So that means I gotta go out to the left. Whoa, that's going down fast. Okay. Up. <sighs> Emergency lockdown. Ah, oh, this is like lock. Move the stir. Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay. Ah. Okay. Move the mouse in circles to rotate the wheel. Thing immediately breaks. Well, this is going to be rough. So basically, in whatever this is, because I don't feel like it's actually in real time. Could be. If it's real time, we've got 25 minutes until all hell breaks loose from Yeah, I know you don't like that. Noise is dangerous. Consider how much noise you make. Yeah, well, there's light here, isn't there? <laughs> He's on fucking standby. I'm gonna try and put a barrel in front of that. In Strafford. Has a picture of a vent or something being opened up. Oh, and then we have to find. Okay, we gotta find a dog tag to find this. I find the code. A pocket bag. Ooh, does that mean I can get more space? So much stuff here. Shut up over there. You got 20 minutes, then you can harass me. 9791 for G Travers. Ninth of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. I don't know, man. What did we fucking do? Did we unleash this beast? Well, the bad news is it looks like... Oh, wait, here we go, here we go, here we go. 9791. That doesn't actually help me, but I think I can stack these. Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> that, too, was actually just... Fuck. Alright, well... This room's kind of useless to me then. 
we gotta hurry the fuck up. Fuck. Take that note. All right, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. Who am I? Who am I trying to remember? Uh, Jade Delise. Now this is locked because of the emergency lockdown. I might have to go to the office for it. Roman tunnel update. Engineers have broken through our storage areas into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I must confess I was skeptical of this last point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels we found urns, Latin texts, etc. We will do our best to preserve some materials for posterity. Updates to follow. Aw, oh, wow. You know, they're thinking about... Preserving the history of the place. Woo. I drop this shit on the ground. Uh, I think it was X. Here we go. All right. So then, if I drag these together, they become a bandage. Ooh. I don't think so. Motherfucker's room, the lease. Well, that's bad. that put me at? Okay, that got us like 20 minutes. Solid. So. Grenades, huh? Nice! I can carry one, one extra item in my inventory. That's fine. 
4843 spooky monster picture La Rue's report. I am now putting into writing what I have reported to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again and it was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Yeah... I don't think you were getting any medical leave, friend. <sighs> hey, fuck this guy. He just wants to sit around and harass me. can't do anything without him screeching out. Alright, well, I got the code. How much time do I have left? Didn't like that. I was being a little stingy about this, because honestly, I was kind of expecting the time to run out for this generator. Me die, and then I would just, re you know, go back to my last save, which was a while ago. And then I could just speed run all this stuff, but I'll, I'll be good. I'll behave. Eight. Four. Three. Now I can lift the emergency shutdown. Emergency lockdown over. Uh, maybe I shouldn't try the prison first. Ah! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Lag! Jesus! Bandages are gonna help me. Ugh. 